Oh y'all, good morning to you. Hope everybody's doing well as you can in y'all's neck of the woods. My name is Josh. This is a little Alaskan old place. And today, if you can't tell, we're seeing where's the back of the there it is. We're in the canoe. And we are floating. We're floating the Tananal River, or a small part of it, close to my house. And looking out for a moosey. I uh, consulted with the wife about uh, bringing my oldest with me, but this river is kind of sketchy. She had a good point. Uh, it can be sketchy. It's it's a lot better in the fall. The uh, a lot of the, the glaciers, like up in the mountains and whatnot, are freezing up. So the, to my understanding, the water will uh, the water levels always drop in the fall, and the river slows down. It's still moving, but it's not as near as bad. So. Uh, yeah, we figured though it'd probably be best. Um, you can tell I got my safety first. I got my life jacket on because even for me, I'm not <clears throat> theoretically. I mean, I could easily swim from there to there, but this water is, it, dude. There, there is this water is so muddy, y'all. I'm talking about when you pull your hand out of it, it feels like you've run it across sandpaper. Uh, there's so much mud that literally floating in the water, so it pulls you down, it weights you down. But anyway, um, yeah. So we're just gonna be doing this. I'm gonna have to peer up peer, peer, periodically, man. Um, check up with y'all and stuff. I'll pull the phone out and uh, do some more filming. But yeah, right now we're just easing down and uh, seeing if we might uh, get lucky. The Lord will bless us. If not, it's still really awesome being out here. But yeah, I'll bring y'all along hopefully and uh, y'all can uh, see the sights. Let me turn this, show y'all what I got looking at. So, see, you can tell to see the water right here. Water is normally way up here and it's come down quite a bit, but we're just floating these back channels. The Tananal is a lot bigger than this. This is just a bunch of little fingers and a bunch of uh, landlocked islands and whatnot off of the main river. So we're just easing down through here and uh, seeing what we can see. We'll see what happens. I catch a lot of my burbot. The burbot actually I caught was right over here. But, uh, yeah, so I'll uh, pick y'all up and uh, back turn y'all back on when we get on down the river a little ways and, uh, and or if we kill something. So stay tuned. Y'all see that guy right there? Oh, Mr. Beaver. He's making him up. He's fixing up him there, fixing his little house up. We might get him to fall up. <laughs> we'll see. After moose season, there he went down. After moose season, I might have to come out of here and uh, see if I can't can't trap that tra trap that little joker. Yeah, this is a new lodge. There should be another lodge around this curve. And he popped back up again. That's probably one of their uh, last year's babies. But river's starting to open up now. Let me switch hands. River's opening up. We're gonna turn left. I think is what we'll do. That's a little guy. No, he ain't, I mean, he's fair size. He's edible. See if he'll, if he'll give us a nice little quick tail whop. Come on, buddy. You gonna do what? Oh, he's got his head up. He act like he won't do. There it is. <laughs> I knew he was going to. He had that head up. He wasn't happy with me over here. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Anyway, yeah, we're coming around the curve. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go check it out. What's up? What's that one song, Pocahontas? Just around the river bend. <laughs> I mean, technically. So, we'll see. But, all right, he popped back up. Anyway, y'all, let me put you back up. I got to get around this curve, so hold tight. All right, y'all, back out of the canoe, and I'm walking around down the river where it's shallow. I can float it, but I'm quieter walking, and I can always come back and get the canoe if we shoot anything. I just want to show you. Let me turn this camera around. See what I'm doing? This is where I'm walking in. 
it's mostly rock and it's got a little bit of this silt mud on it but uh see the water level's way down and canoe's about the only thing that'll get back up in here and uh so having all these this river just winds and winds and winds and you never know you come around one turn and there might be a bull moose there you never know so I'm just easing around these corners, working every, you know, just walking around and around all this uh, ground and in hopes there'll be a moose around. Plus I'm calling here and there about every 30 minutes. I'm calling. But I just wanted to, you know, that way y'all knew kind of what I was doing. Minus, you know, the little clips and stuff I show y'all. Just, uh, yeah, just a little update. So, anyway. Anyway. I say hopefully we'll get lucky and if not it's still really cool being out here so all right y'all bring it back in a second I'm not walking on foot y'all I see it that's, that's a good chance to be right there if I uh, wasn't as good as a man I'd blast that joker because that's a big and that's that's over 50 pound beaver right there he's just sitting there watching me the corner of his eye Man, that's tempting. That 308 I got would tear him up a little bit. Man, I get some meat off of him. I gotta be, I gotta be patient though. I gotta wait. Let me back out. And when I'm walking around, water got really, really shallow, so I'm walking around right now. This is the Tanana River's out there. That big opening. And this is just one of the channels that cuts off that I've been canoeing up. And that's where a lot of the debris getting caught off the main river coming into this spot. That's why that beaver's here. He's got a he's got a lodge around here somewhere in one of these uh, log piles. But I can show y'all kinda I'm gonna try to go slow that way I don't get dizzy. Yeah, that's what it's like though. I get all these big down trees and everything all over the place. This river ain't no joke. It's pretty wicked. But uh yeah, I figured I'm gonna walk around. I can I got my waders on for a reason. I can get out and walk. Got the canoe parked. And I can cover more ground easily easier walking. And then if I need to, if I kill a moose, I can uh I can just drag it to wherever I need to go haul the moose in that, cut them up, put them in there, and then uh, can just uh, float them down. It'll be a lot easier going down, because right now I've been going upriver, so. Let's see if I can get old dude's attention, though. Hey, buddy. Hey, Bucky Beaver. Hey, yo. Hey. Well, he ain't got a care in the world. <laughs> see how close I can get to him. My hear me crunching in here. Hey, old dude. Thank you, man. Ah, sorry, y'all. That's not any good. Zoomed in. I'd walk over, y'all. Man, I gotta get. I gotta get through all this mess to get to him. Hey, hey. What are you doing? There he goes. Y'all look how big that joker is. That's like a little bear. <laughs> That's like a little bear. Man, I'd like to get him. If I wouldn't spook everything around here, I tell you what, he'd be a he'd be a dead beaver. But anyway. So yeah, I just come out from that side. And like I was saying, this is back where I showed you earlier, but uh looking out towards the town now. Just trying to cover ground and get lucky that's all you can do really so anyway bring y'all back when uh something happens maybe or this is an update so stay tuned well y'all this is the jumped all them sticks <laughs> this is the town all river so the main bit of it anyway you see it's split up all right through here uh farther let's see let me think of my bearings farther west it'll uh go back into one main river 
where I live and, and around uh, my area, it's all split up like this. And I said this was that river going, cutting off the main. But, yeah, this is the Tananaw River. Right there in the corner. I got my finger. Yeah, where you at? Where's that little beaver? Right there is where that beaver. I don't know if you can kind of see that little rippling over there. That's the beaver's house. His lodge is over there. I done running back to his home. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to show you all the Tananaw River. Anyway, this is the, the big bit of it. It's a gnarly river. Right now, it's really, really low because this is uh, we're transitioning into winter time, and the water always drops out, like I said earlier. So normally, a lot of this you wouldn't see. It'd just be straight water. But yeah, so it's just rocky and gnarly mud, really, really bad silty mud. So anyway, that's a little update. Bring y'all back when something else happens. <laughs> Oh y'all, and I just noticed I get they get lost in the clouds for me. And you see right, see where my fingers at? Where's my hand? There it is, right there, there, and there. That's part of the Alaska range, if I'm not mistaken. Let me zoom in some more. But, you don't get to see them a whole whole bunch because normally it's always cloudy or just you know they get in the horizon or something. But man, they're pretty though. That's like the cherry on top out here. Just wanted to show y'all that real quick. I want to show y'all a moose track. In my boot. I'm not wearing, uh, I think it's 11 or 11 and a half boot. And that ain't too terribly old. That's probably a couple days old track, if at, at best. But I just want to show you this. Maybe say, oh shoot. Because, uh, you know, we're part of the food chain here, me and this moose. And then if you follow on down some of the moose, and I was walking, and all of a sudden I said, I seen that, and I said, oh, shoot, because that ain't no dog. I mean, that's a big one. That, that'd be a wolf. And look at my, look, like, remember that moose track? Remember, y'all, I'm going to leave, this is at least an 11 or 12 wader. And how big that joker. That's a wolf. There ain't no dog out here, I tell you. I just stopped and I said, oh, shoot. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I don't make it. That's why that's why this old gal here, see that man? There's 10 308s in there. <laughs> so, oh, now that one ain't like that beaver. If I see a wolf, he's done. I'm blasting him. So, and then there'll be a, there'll be a skinning video on that coming up if, I, if that happened. But, uh, but anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. So, that, I've only, I've only, I haven't cut too many wolf tracks in my time. So, anyway, all right. Trying to think of something catchy. Uh, until next time. <laughs> One second. Where the spring water meets the tan and all water. That's pretty cool. I love it when I come across rivers that do that. That's real, real cool. I don't know, just one of those awesome God's creations. That's so cool. All right, y'all made it back to the old canoe. And finally taking me a break. I've been trotting around these bushes for a couple hours now. So I'm finally getting to sit down. Gonna enjoy my, my food I brought, my waterproofing. Uh, I think this was my oldest son's backpack one time. So, now what do I got in here? I got some. I know I got something to eat. Where do we go? Peaches. I'll take it. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm pooped. But a good poop. It was fun covering a lot of ground. Still got quite a bit to go. I uh, shed that jacket because I was, whew, it was getting warm, y'all. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway. I haven't heard anything. Uh, my squirrel <laughs> I put him on here because I, I think he wanted, you know, 30 seconds of YouTube fame. So I tried to help a brother out, you know. And, uh, but anyway, yeah, just uh, keep on keeping on, I reckon. I'm going to put in a call here probably in a little bit and uh, see what happens. So, anyway, so y'all stay tuned. I know this is so exciting. <laughs> All right, y'all. Day two. Uh, 
nothing, obviously, you are seen, y'all seen, nothing happened the first day. Uh, we're gonna give it a go again today. Uh, for FYI, too, I'm not staying out here. I live close enough, I just go to the house and, and go home with the kiddos and wife, so it's, it's nice enough to be able to do that. Um, but anyway, so hopefully something will happen today. We'll see. I got coffee today, that's a plus. Um, I didn't do that yesterday. <laughs> Uh, maybe that was a problem. But anyway, so we're just, like I say, you can see, we're just easing down the river. I ain't gonna try her again today. Um, I don't know, depending on how the day goes. I may have one more day in me, but it'll probably be a few days from now, because I got some stuff I need to do in the garden. And a few other things around the house. But, uh, depending on how the day goes, I don't know how many more I'll have in me. Moose hunts. Um, to where it's just not feasible for me to go anymore because I've got so much stuff at the house I need to do projects and I still got a ton of stuff to harvest I got like 300 foot of rows worth of potatoes I got to harvest and or me and the kiddos and the wife got to harvest and a bunch of carrots and all kinds of all kinds of peas and all kinds of stuff so we got to get them out of the ground because we're, we're getting into freezing temps we're pushing it um I don't know what today was it was windy today it's windy today Yesterday, I forgot to mention, so yesterday it was uh, 41 in the morning, and I think the highs were only like high 50s, so it's it's definitely, and we're getting to that cool time of the year, we're in the fall, obviously, you see all the yellow starting to come up on all these trees, so um, I always want to get everything out of the ground before it freezes, so, and because I have to go, a lot of y'all know that I work out at a gold mine, and I'm gone for two weeks at a time, um, so I don't want to leave my wife and kids by themselves with with all that on them too of trying to get everything harvested and put up and everything so so anyway yeah we'll see what happens y'all I'll bring y'all out and something cool happens or some critter or I'm sure we'll bump those beavers again so I'm not gonna worry about bringing them this time or I'll show y'all but uh but anyway so hang tight all right y'all trying to be quiet and not get my hopes up <laughs> but I swear on everything uh, I started calling some cracking in the bushes in the bushes uh, so I don't know if it's just a beaver <laughs> chewing some sticks because that, that they do that uh, or it might be a moose I don't know but uh, I'm just trying to I still want to film you know as much as I can if, if this is a moose and a bull moose at that uh, it's kind of documented so I'm downwind from where he's at he can't if he wanted to get downwind for me to check my to, to smell me to make sure I'm you know, moose or whatever Joker can because there's a, a river right there so unless he gets on out in that river he ain't going to uh, he ain't gonna smell me but if he comes down to where I'm at let me show you so there's the edge of the bank so he there's gonna pop out right, right here which is like 10 yards um, he'll pop out there, or I'm expecting him to pop out somewhere down his bank. If if this is a moose and not a beaver or something, I heard, but I know for sure something was breaking trees and sticks and whatnot in there. So we're just, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sit here and give it some time, and uh, we'll see what happens. So yeah, anyway, so I don't know how in the world I'd love to get if some chance this is a bull, moose, and not a beaver. <laughs> get it on camera I, I, I doubt it but I'm thinking I might be able to try to hold the camera and lay the rifle across my arms we'll see so anyway let me put y'all down let me listen all right y'all update nothing yet and I've given it I've given this moose disposable about an hour and a half I walked around the back side of where that like where the water's at where he can't get around me real easy I haven't seen anything I've been calling here and there giving them time in between calls and nothing so one or two things or three things one I'm imaginating and I didn't take my senile medicine this morning two the beavers are conspiring 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 with the moose and uh, setting us hunters up making us think there's moose there and it ain't possibility or three there was a moose and when I started calling, he was like, no, I'm out, dog, I'm out, pew, because he's like, he knew, he's like, no, nah, that ain't no, that ain't no moose. 
So I don't know. So anyway, I don't want to burn all the, the good time in the morning. So I'm gonna get back in the canoe and ease around to another spot that I feel is pretty good and call there a little bit and see what happens. So just giving y'all an update. Y'all see that guy right there? I was wondering, I was like, what in the world is that? It's old Mr. Grouse. He's out there strutting his stuff. I just wanted to show y'all, that's pretty don't go cool. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, that was cool. Still no moose. Still no moose, but uh, it's always cool seeing something in nature. Old grouse, I've never seen one. I don't think I've ever seen one out, like, especially out in the open. He had his neck puffed up trying to show off to the ladies somewhere. So, which is grouse season too, but like, I, I'm not I'm moose hunting. I'm trying to stay focused. Focus on moose. But all these other good eating things keep popping up like beavers and grouse. and It's tempting. But I'm trying to moose, moose, moose. No look yet. Tons of tracks everywhere, you know. But that's all I see so far. We'll see. The wind is nuts. One minute's blowing on my neck like right now, and then that next it's in my face, and then the next it's when he just like winds out to get me. With the beavers. <laughs> so anyway. Alright. I'll bring y'all back when something else happens. <laughs> Alright y'all. Whole update. It's been a minute. <laughs> I think the last video I did was it probably 10 or 11 o'clock and it's I think it's like 3.30 now in the evening I uh come back to my original spot that earlier I had you know I thought I was hearing something or beavers were conspiring or something other and I went back over here and I was working my, my way back out from where I was and I caught I, y'all I promise you on everything that there's moose tracks going across the river that was not there when I was there this morning. So now it's got me all jacked up <laughs> and doubting myself. <laughs> so I'm sitting back here, kind of back where I was in a way. I've been calling for probably about a, an hour, an hour, hour and a half it's been probably, and uh, here and there, and beating on trees and whatnot, trying to get their attention, that, at least that one's attention, if it was a bull. But anyway, it's kind of like caught. You know, dead coming if I'd have just stayed, you know. But, and like I say, I think they're new. They may not be. But anyway, it's raining a little bit if y'all kind of can tell on the camera. But that uh, was just no big deal. But I'm going to give it, I might give her a couple more hours. Just want to see if, uh, what happens if this if this guy comes back or not. Or maybe it's a guy, it might be a girl. But, uh, but anyway, so anyway, just an update. Like I was saying, um, yeah, I'll let y'all know. Well, I mean, y'all will see something, so. Stay tuned. So, I just log in. This is day three and uh, got coffee too. So, alright, y'all. So, I'll bring y'all back when we get set up and everything. And fingers crossed, right? So, hold on. Oh, man. Alright, y'all. So, you can tell we're back at the Casa. Made it home and tired, but I got a wife had a uh, good hot bowl of uh, caribou stew waiting on me with some homegrown cabbage and carrots in it. It was fine, so that warmed me up pretty good because it was raining all day today and yesterday was raining half the day, so it was just nice. It got chilled to the bone, so it was nice having some hot stew. Uh, anyway, so no moose as of right now. Anyway, uh, I'm probably still gonna go here and there, probably on an afternoon kind of a hunt. Uh, but I just got, I got all these chores. I can see the, there's all the peas back there. There's like five, I mean, I got four rows of those 20 foot peas. And then I got some, let's see where I'm at over here on my finger. Uh, where's my hand? Uh, oh, oh, nope. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yep, right there, right. Well, anyway, right around there. Uh, I got a bed of carrots to get and the kiddos. And I got tomatoes and whatnot under there. We've been picking here and there off tomatoes under the, those little coal frames. So I've got a lot of that to do, but I might sneak off and run off and, uh, like I say, try to do an afternoon hunt, afternoon hunt and call and whatnot if I can. But just where I can end this video, because um, I don't want to get it too spread out. Uh, say no luck so far, but we'll see. And yeah, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section. And yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all take care. God bless. Damn.